Claire. Standing here in front of you today is a moment I had always hoped for. Ever since the first time we met, you sparked a light in me that had never been lit before. Because of you, I have experienced a deep and genuine love. A love that uncovers every mask, breaks down all insecurities, endures through every situation, and commits to selflessness. You make it easy to experience this kind of love by being the most godly, beautiful, <laughs> and purposeless girl I've ever met. Chris, as we have walked through life together for the last five years, it has only become more and more clear that God handpicked you to be my husband. You helped me to keep life in perspective, and you challenged me to always be a better person. You pursue me and you love me when I'm at my best, but more importantly, you love me when I'm at my worst. And I trust that you will always do so. You point me back to Christ in the good and bad times, and you walk with me through the, my trials and hard times with such grace and love. Chris, I love your heart for God. It's the first thing that I loved about you, and it remains my favorite. Bible says, and it says right on this, next to the cross, that, you know, one is overpowered, two can defend themselves, but a strand of three cords is not easily broken. God is true to His Word. Cling to that truth, and as that hangs in your home or wherever it ends up hanging, maybe over your bed, cling to that truth. Let Him be your continual rock fortress, your defense, your strong tower, your every help in your time of need. You let His grace and peace and joy reign over your household and over your marriage. And I love your heart for God. Oh gosh, I just so love Chris and Claire, having consented together to marriage before God and these wonderful witnesses, through the exchange of these vows and these rings, it is now my honor as a minister of the gospel in accordance with the laws of the state of Colorado to pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What God has joined, let no man separate. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His grace and peace and love reign over you all the days of your life. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hugh Stead. Yeah!